your fire stick is not working. The fire stick is slow. You click it to move and you keep clicking and it doesn't move along. You're getting high end buffering. You're ready to throw your device out the window. Fire sticks are quite simple devices. So when they stop working, they're a pain. And the amount of messages I get through about what device should I get? My fire stick doesn't work anymore. My fire stick's really slow. What should we get now? What should I do to my fire stick? How can I fix my fire stick? So before you decide to buy a new device, before you need to decide to buy a brand new product, there is one process you can do. And before I show you that, do remember, before we do into all of that, hit that subscribe button on the channel. Check out the rest of the channel for once you've got your fire stick working again and your fire TV all ready to go, you're gonna find all the videos you need on my channel. So hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and do remember to watch through till the end, especially if you're a regular watcher. This video may not help you right now, but it may become a time when your device is really laggy, you're struggling to move around, and you don't know what to do. You're getting on Amazon or you're getting on the internet ready to buy a brand new device. But before we do that, you've got to try this first. You've got to reset it, okay? So the best way, I'm going to do it to mine because my device has been used for installing over and over again apps for videos. So my storage is filling up. I've got so many old files on there, clogged up caches. So I'm going to factory reset it live for you today. And there's one way you can do it in the settings. Um, but if your device is running really slow, you might not even be able to get to the settings. So we're going to do it with the remote today, okay? So you're going to hold down these two buttons. You'll see up here now, hold down the back button and the right on the circle. So on the big circle in the middle, the right there and the back, and hold them down. It may take up to 10 seconds. Here we go. Reset to factory defaults. Factory reset has been initiated and will automatically occur in 13 seconds. Again, if your device is frozen and you're really struggling to move around and navigate, wait the timer. If not, you can click OK. So we're going to do it. I'm going to reset mine now. Resetting your Amazon Fire TV Stick Max to its factory settings. So you remember when you first bought it and your device was working perfectly. There's no reason that can't happen again. You don't need to send these devices back. You don't need to um, order a new one. We can completely reset it like we are doing now. Some people get stuck on the logo icon like this. And if that's the case, you need to reset that as well. And you may get stuck on the logo in a boot loop, but we wait. It's factory resetting. We're going to wait now. Please remember it can take five to 10 minutes to factory reset your device, okay? That is an issue that can happen. So if you are struggling with it or just, just wait, it will happen. But remember, when you factory reset as well, it removes everything off your device. Everything is removed. So do remember that. So now we have to pair the remote again. So just hold down your home button. Push play to start. And then we go through the setup again. I'm going to quickly fly through mine. Um, it's just follow the steps, really. Um, get the right version for you. We've obviously got to go into our Wi-Fi. I'm going to do it with the MyFire TV app as it's demonstrated. And it should do it all for us as it goes. There we go. That's already done the internet for me, so we can just ping through the next few bits. Or you can enter your internet manually as you do it. It will run through the update process, get the latest software, and in a minute we will be loading into our device fully ready and working as good as new. Now we are registered, it's on my list, it's updated. We can welcome me in. Again, you can do it step by step by following the um, options. You can restore your previous stuff. Personally, I'm gonna skip that, mainly because um, it saves me anything which might have been breaking my device will now fix my device. So we obviously got to set our TV option. I will put mine's just on a monitor so the audio doesn't really matter to me. So I'll quickly find one. We will go on HP. We will pretend I can hear the audio because I can't, I've got no sound on my um, thing there, but it might have blasted out to you guys. Yes. And OK, that's now set up. 
we can then, we will get through to the bit here asked probably for parental options. Uh, we don't want any kids stuff, no thank you. Select the apps we want. I'm going to say no thanks this time because I don't need to put any on there. And no parental controls. We can go OK. And now we're back onto a Fire TV. We now have a Fire TV. I can select the ones I need and I'm ready to go. And as you see, we've got quite a few apps on there already which come with the device. Loads are installed automatically. You might have a few bits in my apps. And as you see, your device will be running fast as anything. Then, obviously, you will need to install your VPN again. Um, I'm currently using NordVPN, so I'll get that on there before I start installing any other apps for my um, privacy and my security. So we'll type NordVPN. We will get that installed. That'll be the first app, and we will download because I own it. I don't own NordVPN, but I own a version of the app. So, while that's installing, if you guys are after NordVPN, we do have a link directly underneath for you. Uh, the link underneath is for a great offer with some of the fastest speeds. NordVPN is good for your online security. It's also good to stop you being blocked. So if certain streaming services block what you can access, um, you can use your VPN to try and help you. This isn't to bypass payment or to get free content. It's just so you aren't blocked for your location or so you aren't blocked by your internet service provider trying to tell you what you can and can't use. Okay, that's your choice. So this will stop that and it will keep you safe online from adware, um, adverts, cookies, that sort of stuff. Brilliant. Right. That's installing. That will be all finished. Obviously, now you can go on and get the rest of those apps you really want. You can find the videos to install and set your Fire Stick up again. Now it's working fresh. Obviously, if it's still not working after all of a factory reset, maybe it's a duff. Who knows? But that should be the main thing you need. Remember, if you want a video regarding a full setup for your Fire Stick, on my channel here, we have the Jailbreak, the Amazon Fire Stick and Fire TV updated video linked underneath. That'll be in the description of this video as well. So it'll be at the top of the description, along with that link to NordVPN, and it'll be in the pinned comment. Brilliant. Hope that helped you. Again, some of you won't need it, but for a last resort, hopefully it would help those people who are looking online why your Fire Stick is not working. Thank you very much. Hit that subscribe, and I'll see you soon.